When most humans die, they are usually buried or burnt. What a lovely sentence to start a video on. Sometimes though, either intentionally or by accident, a person can be preserved for tens, hundreds or even thousands of years and end up looking almost the exact same as the day they died. Some of these are creepy guys, so let's jump into this together. I'm Danny Burke, this is the top 10 people frozen in time. Coming in at number 10 now, we have Vladimir Lenin. He is known as the father of communism and was head of the Soviet Union when it was founded in 1922. He died a little more than a year after that, with millions of Russians mourning his death. The government decided to preserve his body using a chemical mixture and remove all the organs, including the brain. Then he was put on display in a granite mausoleum where he still lies today, almost 100 years after his death. His body is maintained by a team of scientists who monitor his temperature and bodily fluids. As long as the Russian people are prepared to pay for it, Lenin's body could be preserved there for many centuries to come. Next up at number 9 now, we have Otzi the Iceman. Ok, so the last one was 100 years old and looked very alive. Otzi the Iceman doesn't look as alive, but he is very old. He died about 5,200 years ago. To give you guys an idea of how long ago that was, the entire world population at that time was roughly the same as modern day Tokyo. Otzi's body was preserved all this time because it was found in ice in the Alps mountain range between Austria and Italy. He was discovered in 1991 by tourists who thought he was actually a recently dead person because his skin was still so intact even after 5,000 years. They examined his intestines and found that it contained his last meal of deer meat and herb bread. Moving on to number 8 now, we have Ramses the Great. Ramses II is one of the most famous pharaohs of all time. He ruled over the Egyptians over 3,200 years ago. His tomb was discovered in 1881 and his mummified remains were found to be very well preserved. There was still hair on the back of his head. By 1971 though, experts had noticed the body was starting to deteriorate quickly, despite the preservation techniques of the past. So they flew him to Paris for special treatment. Now French law required that any anyone, alive or dead, must have a passport if they want to enter France. So Ramses II was issued an Egyptian passport over 3,000 years after his death. Coming in at number 7 now, we have the Tolland Man. The Tolland Man was found in a peat bog in Denmark in 1950 by locals who thought he was a recent murder victim, but it turned out he was a lot older than that. Radiocarbon dating put his death at about 2,200 years ago. From the rope around his neck and the marks it left, it appears that the Tolland Man was killed by hanging, possibly a human sacrifice. His perfectly preserved face seems just frozen in a way that makes it look like he kind of fell asleep on the spot. X-rays showed that his heart, lungs and liver were all still intact too. So called bog bodies like this are discovered when the body is preserved by the acid of a peat bog, a lack of oxygen in it and a cold climate. But please, that is not a recipe to make your own bog body. Next up at number 6 we have the church in man. This mummy was found in China and dates to 3,000 years ago. He was found in a tomb and experts were amazed to find that no preservation techniques had actually been used on him. His body had been naturally mummified. Because of how dry and cold the air was around the body and also how salty the soil was. Now this would have helped kill off any bacteria that would normally decay the body. One fascinating thing about the Churchin man was that although he was found in China, he was found to be of European descent. This helped build a clearer picture of how people travelled and migrated around the world thousands of years ago. Moving on to number 5 now, we have George Mallory. George Mallory was an English mountaineer who attempted to climb Mount Everest in 1923. He was never seen again. Then an expedition to recover his body in 1999 found him. His body was face down in the mountain gravel and because of the climate there, he was incredibly well preserved even 76 years after his death. His skin and body had survived better than the actual clothing on him. No photos were taken of his face when they turned him over, but it was reportedly completely undamaged after all that time. A solemn expression was frozen on his face. Ok, next up at number 4 we have Eva Peron. She was the first lady of Argentina when she died in 
in 1952 from cancer. There was national mourning for her death and her husband arranged for her to be embalmed by a man called Dr. Pedro Ara, whose work was known to some as the art of death. Now he replaced her blood with the glycerin, which preserved all the organs and kept her features lifelike so that she simply looked asleep. Three years later, a military dictatorship took power and outlawed even the mention of Eva Peron or her husband. It turns out her body was then taken to Italy, then to Spain, and then finally returned to Argentina 18 years after her death. When she was finally buried, the preservation techniques had still kept her looking like she'd simply just fallen asleep. Moving on to number three now, we have Rosalia Lombardo. Now, if any of you guys have watched our top 10 scary places you shouldn't visit, you may be familiar with Rosalia. Lombardo. She was almost two years old when she died of pneumonia in Sicily in 1920. Her heartbroken father wanted to have her preserved forever in the catacombs nearby. The mixture of formalin, zinc, salt, alcohol, silicic acid and glycerin that was used preserved her perfectly. She became known as the sleeping beauty to those around her. Some people thought it was kind of too good to be true, they didn't believe it, and they called it a fake wax replica. But x-rays and scans showed that she was real and that her organs were still intact after a century had passed. The Capuchin catacombs are still open to visitors to this day for any of you guys who want to see Rosalia up close. Next up at number two now, we have John Torrington. John Torrington was a British officer who took part in an Arctic expedition in 1846, but died of pneumonia aged 22. Nobody knew what happened to the crew until some of their greys were found on a remote Canadian island. In the 1980s, scientists dug through almost five feet of permafrost until they hit a coffin. They open it up and this was staring back at them, the body of John Torrington, quite literally frozen in time. The eyes were still open, still bright and blue. His skin was battered and bruised, but barely decomposed. The Arctic climate had acted like a perfect giant freezer. Scientists took samples to study and then buried his body back where they found it, where it could still look the exact same to this day. Finally, now at number one, we have La Doncella. In 1999, archaeologists in the mountains between Chile and Argentina found a few mummified children from the Inca age in South America over 500 years ago. The oldest mummy, a 15 year old girl, was named La Doncella, which means the maiden, and she was almost perfectly preserved. It's thought that she was part of a ritual sacrifice by the Inca people to their gods. The frigid mountain climate had kept her body in the same position she died in, even her hair remained completely unchanged. Her clothes still retained their colour and detail right down to her shoes and her woven belt, giving the appearance that she just kind of fell asleep and could wake up at any moment. Well guys, I really, really enjoyed that video. Is that strange? I mean, don't get me wrong, some of them were really creepy, I mean death is creepy, and I don't think I'd like to see them in person, but it's kind of cool to see people still look so lifelike after they've been dead for so long. Now, it is pretty rare that things like this happen though, which is why I'm not sure if we could have enough for a part two. So if you did enjoy this, let me know what other creepy or perhaps historic videos you want to see next in the comment section below. My name is Danny Berg and I'll see you all in the next video.